good day. I'm here to present our research entitled Development and Validation of Module in Business Mathematics together with my co-author, Emeline A. Barano. I am Maria Aurora C. Alonso. The implementation of the K-12 curriculum highlights the 21st century lifelong skills aimed at preparing students with essential concepts as they grow and advance in their life and career. Business mathematics, one of the specialized subjects in the accountancy, business, and management strand, incorporates skills in computation and business analysis that learners find challenges to understand. Some subjects which give emphasis on the accountancy business and management component of the K-12 curriculum in the senior high school are the specialized subjects, organization management, fundamentals of accountancy, business and management one, business finance, fundamentals of accountancy, business and management two, applied economics and business ethics and social responsibility. These are subjects that all aimed at preparing skills of students with essential fundamental concepts on the business world. Any commercial establishments use mathematics in accounting, inventory, management, marketing, sales forecasting, and financial analysis. Dash, development and evaluation of module in business mathematics was conceptualized. The use of module form promotes learner to discover his own strength and weaknesses as he independently answered each of the assigned tasks, ensuring that learning objectives were achieved. It can also serve as supplementary materials, intervention activities, and give students the chance to create purpose on concepts learned from the subject. Our study aimed to design and internally evaluate the modules in business mathematics for ABM students. Specifically, it answered the following questions. First, what is the level of competence of the ABM students in terms of solving the mark on, mark down, and mark up as part of the research paper? And lastly, what is the assessment of the experts of the developed modules in terms of the following? A. Content B. Presentation and C. Instructional Design Good day, I'm Emilene Verano. I'm going to share with you about the scope and limitation of our study. The current study was conducted at the district of Trece Martyr City from July to September 2019. The study only focused on developing modules for the following identified competencies, such as differentiate, mark on, mark down, and mark up, illustrate how mark on, mark down, and mark up. The rationale for choosing the said competencies is that these competencies are the ones that would enhance the student's mathematical skills in business concepts. The said skills are the necessary skills in analyzing and solving the given problems. Also, needs assessment results also point out that these are the competencies that the students thought they are not competent enough in computing and analyzing business transactions. Likewise, the study did not intend to validate the modules in terms of its impact on the student's improvement in the competencies, but rather the aim is to validate the module in terms of module content, presentations, and the instructional design. Following Johnson's model of mater materials development, the current study only accomplished the first two phases which are the design and development phases, respectively. The methods use uh, descriptive research design. The students' needs were emphasized basis for creating the book modules. Afterwards, the modules were internally validated by the master teachers 
at Rice Martyr City Senior High School in terms of content, presentation, and instructional design. Results and discussions. Results revealed that the students have indeed needs in the identified competencies. Moreover, the modules were assessed to be effective in terms of content, presentation, and instru instructional design. The table shows the perceived level of competence of the ABM students in terms of differentiating and solving mark-on, mark-down, and mark-up. The results showed that generally, the student respondents are moderately competent in solving problems in mark-on, mark-down, and mark-up with a grant mean of 3.71. Apparently, the student respondents are moderately competent in when it comes to analyzing problems related to mark-on, mark-down, and mark-up as they have an idea on how to simplify addition and subtraction of fraction, decimal, and percent related to mark on, mark down, and mark up with means of 3.95 and 3.85 and ranked first and second respectively. Meanwhile, the student respondents scored the list in determining and comparing mark on, mark down, and mark up, which ranked 8th place. In the former, the student respondents got a mean of 3.55, both of which are interpreted as moderately competent. These results confirm the comments made by the previous students of the researcher that they found it difficult to determine and compare mark on, mark down, and mark up on the given problems. Likewise, based on the experience of the researcher herself, most of the revisions she asked her former students to do were related to these two competencies. Therefore, the developed modules were focused on these two competencies. The table 2 shows the assessment of the three master teachers of the developed modules in terms of content, presentation, and instructional design. Results show that the developed modules were assessed generally as effective with a grand mean of 3.94. The experts assessed the presentation of the modules as effective with a mean of 4.07. Similarly, they assessed the ins instructional design of the modules as effective, also with a mean of 3.93. Finally, the instructional design of the modules was likewise assessed as effective by the experts. It is apparent that of the three indicators, it was presentation where the modules scored the highest. This means that the experts thought that the modules ensure that the presentation can easily understand to the learner's content much as the stated objectives. The learners are informed of the anticipated outcomes, the assessment matches the objects, objectives, assessment matches the content, sequence of learning steps is pedagog pedagogically sound. Information follows instructional sequence from simple to complex. Multiple methods of assessment are included. Applications to real life situations are included. Connections to other disciplines are also included and the re reinforcement through verbal and written communication is also included. While the experts assess the modules effective, it seems that the modules still need to be improved 
for them to become highly effective to maximize possible income or impact to student learning. The, uh, our conclusion, these modules are assessed as effective. However, the modules should be further evaluated in terms of their impact to the achievement of the competencies this shall be done in the future by having these modules used by the students.